expert and today you're watching a product review and today I shall be reviewing the X55 Rhino hot ass system hot ass being hands on throttle and stick first of all this is how it comes in the box obviously if the LED is turned off because it needs power and um, yeah so let's get started first of all the joystick comes separate to its base um, it's quite lightweight so perfect for explain with the buttons and stuff you have a trigger pinky switch another pinky button button here uh, I know a fire button to scrolly run well two scrolly ones uh, d-pad quite lightweight like I said to install it to its base all you have to do is line up that black uh, bit of plastic there uh, with this slot over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on like that nice and loosey and simply tighten the screw bit at the bottom you haven't done it up too tight because obviously I don't want to over tighten it um, so it's quite loose at the moment uh, like um, when you first get the box uh, there should be a pack of springs like this each colour coded so yellow being quite soft blue they're a bit tougher and finally green being quite stiff at the moment I've got a red spring on so that's even squishier than all three of these um, obviously quite loose uh, in another video uh, I shall show you how to take off the spring, replace it, put it back in, you know, general stuff like that. Um, for helicopter pilots, most people recommend taking off the spring completely and then, well, you know, you can leave it there and it will stay like that by itself rather than returning to centre. Uh, moving on to the throttle, it has two throttle sticks or it can be one. Uh, to simply separate them pull out the button and there you go you have it there simply push back in um, on the back here it has two buttons pinky switch scrolly switch uh, another two scroll buttons both that can be also clicky buttons on the front here you have mode select mode 1, mode 2, mode 3 you can program it to whatever you want um, these three buttons along here I find quite useful. Uh, this one here can be undercarriage, you know, taxi lights, landing lights, etc. Here we have two dials. You can twist them like that. Um, personally, I use that one for rudder tuning and the other one for aileron tuning. On this side here, we have four more two switches. Uh, let me just show you along back here. You know, two clicky switches and another pink switcher. What I like about the SciTech X55 and the SciTech products is you can adjust the tension on the throttle. So you can either have it nice and loose or you can have it really tight. It depends what plane you're flying and again, perf uh, personal preference. As you can see, the lights, well, they light up green. I think this is a really cool feature and especially as you can customise them and program them to be whatever you like. Um, overall I'll give this a 4.5 out of 5. It is an amazing product but there's only one downside to it. I find that this is with joysticks in general but especially with big ones like these I find that they tend to slip quite easy and that can be a pain sometimes. Other than that, it's an amazing joystick. I don't see why you shouldn't buy one. And um, yeah. Stay tuned for more videos where I'll be showing you to uh, replace the springs and you can start programming and maybe flying at some point. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and like and comment below. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, but we get to bust